Hey everybody, welcome to my video on utility and demand. Uh, let's talk about something near and dear to my heart today, okay? I want to talk about the law of demand and I'm going to talk about tacos to do it. But first, let's get some definitions out of our way. What is utility? Utility is the satisfaction you get for consuming your product. Uh, or instead of satisfaction, you could say the benefit you get from consuming your good. And behind our demand model, our demand curve, is the idea that consumers want to maximize their utility. So let's talk about shopping for tacos. You're going to go out and buy some tacos. One thing you should know before you do is what's the most you're willing to pay for one? Uh, that's a relevant question anytime you're going to go spend money. How much are you willing to pay? For the sake of an example, let's say $3 is the most you could ever pay for one taco. That's the max. $3 and one cent, not worth it. You would, of course, like to pay less. You'd love to pay $2 or $1 or $0, but three is your max. You eat your, you eat your $3 taco. It was so good. Just imagine how good it was for just a minute. Are you willing to pay $3 for the second taco? Three was your max for the first. Are you willing to pay the same max for the second? Or do you value it less than the first? That's a very relevant possibility because after the first one, I'm not as hungry for one thing. And two, I've already tasted the tacos for the other thing. They're so good, but the shock to my system's over. Yeah, there's a good chance that the second is just not as valuable to me as the first one. It doesn't give me as much utility as the first one did. It's still tasty, I'll still eat it, but it's not as good as the first one. This is kind of true for a lot of goods, enough so that economists make it a pretty general assumption that most goods, the first unit of consumption is better than the second, and the second is better than the third, and so on. We assume that more is usually better, but each additional taco has less value added. Now we call this the diminishing marginal utility. Utility is the overall well-being from consuming your good. Marginal utility is how much utility you get from the next taco or how much value each taco adds. You add up all the marginal utilities from each specific taco and you get your total utility. When I say diminishing marginal utility, that's referring to this idea that each additional taco has less value added. So let's put this on a graph for a second to help us visualize it. If I were to graph utility, I would graph it with utility on the vertical axis and quantity of tacos on the horizontal axis. And if I wanna draw a line that's always going up, but it's going up at a slower and slower rate, it probably looks something like this, where the first taco adds a bunch of utility, the second taco adds a little bit less, the third taco adds a little bit less again, and the fourth taco adds a little bit less again, and so on. That is usually how we assume utility functions look. There are exceptions. We can talk about those later, whatever. Uh, so we can see more is better, but there's diminishing marginal utility at play. How does this relate to our demand curve? Well, we're still gonna have quantity of tacos on the horizontal axis, but now let's put price or our willingness to pay on the vertical axis. Of those four tacos, which one had the biggest marginal utility? The first one. The first one gave me the highest benefit. So that's the one I wanna pay the most for. Each one after that gives a smaller and smaller benefit. So my maximum willingness to pay for each additional taco is less and less. And so I can trace them along like this, where I have a high willingness to pay at the beginning and a lower and lower willingness to pay as I go on. Draw a line through all those points, you get your demand curve. Booyah. So we call this the law of demand and it comes from, marginal, from diminishing marginal utility. What is the law of demand? It is simply that if the price goes up, the quantity demanded goes down. And that's it in a nutshell. So there's your crash course introduction to demand. 
thank you for watching. I am going to make another video or two about demand, like what shifts it and stuff like that. Uh, but that's all for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there. Happy econing.